Uh, all right, boatyard day 14. Spirits are a little bit low. It just doesn't seem like it should be this difficult, right? Long story short, we're supposed to be splashing right now, but we've got a problem. What you doing there, bud? Oh, failing again. I can't take any more simulation. I hope there are no more problems. Uh, no, no, kill the engine. Previously on Project Atticus. After spending three years refitting our fixer-upper sailboat, we left the United States with only $2,000 and the goal of working while we cruised. We made it as far as Isla Mujeres, Mexico before we ran out of money and had to find work. For the next year, we did freelance boat repair jobs until we saved up enough cash to cast the lines and sail south to explore the Western Caribbean. For the past couple months, we've been working hard on boat projects in Bocas del Toro, Panama, to prepare Atticus for her biggest challenge yet, crossing the Pacific Ocean. Well, we got our mast steps in finally, and they look freaking amazing. So today we're gonna install these bad boys, uh, but before we do, we wanna just dry fit them. Yeah, there you go. That's what you wanna see. Boatyard day 14. Atticus is getting more and more uh, cluttered <laughs> and we're getting a little bit more and more sleep deprived and stressed out. Jordan got a stomach bug so uh, spirits are a little bit low but we're excited because today is hopefully our last day in the boatyard. We got a lot to do today on the last day um, and so I'm a little stressed out. Yeah we got pushed through. We can do it. So the first thing we're gonna do today is we got our new Bob Stay chain plate here. Here's the old one. And so we're gonna go try and install this bad boy. Woo! Man, the uh, cheat rays, the little, tiny little kind of noceum bugs that they have here are really bad today. Even like around my eyes. I just had one fly into my eye a second ago. <laughs> It was a little too hard to get in there, so we're gonna try and remove it and then see if we can't open up the slot a little bit. My first step is just gonna be to get a quarter inch drill bit and just kind of ream out as far as I can get. I definitely can like feel spots where it's tough, like tight, uh -huh. and it chews out some stuff and, and then it gets easier, so that's a good sign. Well, I don't know what's going on. It's just, it's not going all the way in, and it's really hard to get in, and at this point it's gonna be really hard to get back out. So I got to go up there and grind into the inside glass a little bit more to get a little better access to it and see what's happening. It just doesn't seem like it should be this difficult, right? It's the same size. It's nearly identical. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
Okay, start. Oh my god. Ha 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 ha! I think we might have done it, buddy. What? I think we did it! Cool! How'd it go? I, I, it's installed. The Bob Stay chain plate is installed. Wow. <laughs> I like just about 100% lost faith that that was gonna happen. <laughs> the next step is we gotta seal the Bob Stay chain plate. And we've already made a huge improvement by chamfering the aperture for the chain plate. There's one more thing that we could do that would really help a lot. And that is to make a chain plate cover. So I've got some 316 stainless that's left over from making our new tangs. So I'm gonna see if I can't real quick uh, fabricate a little uh, chain plate cover. Okay, so made up my little uh, chain plate cover. Let's see how it fits. Yeah, man, that's gonna do it. How cool. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit impressed with myself. <laughs> So yesterday was just a freaking nuts day um, and things did not go as planned. Long story short, we're supposed to be splashing right now, but we've got a problem. This Bob Stay chain plate cover that I was so proud of, the screw on the top of it is actually sticking out just enough so that the toggle on the Bob Stay is touching it so that the angle of this toggle is not perfectly in line with the bob stays. And that's not acceptable because it's gonna put a weird strain on this fitting here. So I've gotta come up with a solution to change the location of that screw head. And we've gotta to talk to the yard manager and tell him, because <laughs> here we are in the slings ready to go. And uh, 7.30 in the morning and I've got this project to do, so. And because we need to splash and put the masts on, it's, you know, a rather all day affair. So I've gotta try and bang this out as quickly as I can. We'll see what we figure out. Like bed. Thank you. How's it going, bud? Oh, not freaking good. I made up the new chain plate cover. It, in my opinion, it's beautiful. It's a huge improvement to the last one. The screw head was well positioned, and I realized that there isn't even enough clearance between this toggle and the hull, even for the chain plate cover. There's like a 32nd of an inch, or even a 64th of an inch clearance between the toggle and the hull when I tighten up the bob stay. So, that was another waste of a morning. Yeah. The only way that we could have avoided this problem, if we would have had the foresight to know that this would be an issue, and then designed the chain plate to be just a little bit longer. But I didn't come up to, with this ceiling solution until after we had removed the chain plate. So, I mean, I think we have no choice but to just seal this conventionally. Probably just shoot some, you know, adhesive sealant in there. Huge waste of time. Less than ideal solution. But at this point, it's just what we've got to do. So, oh well.
get in there, bud. Oh, failing again. <laughs> Just today has been a day of failure. So we've got our new tangs. I'm upgrading the bolt, the through bolt, from a 3 8 bolt to a half inch bolt. And so I'm just drilling, and I'm not sure what's going on, but I keep ruining these bits, taking away their sharp edge to the point where they won't drill anymore. I think it has something to do with the fact that a very small amount of the drill bit's edge is actually like contacting the metal. And I'm going slow. I'm using water and, you know, keeping the bit cool and I did it on the lower tangs. I switched from a half inch to a 5 8 bolt and so use a 5 8 drill bit and nailed it. But for whatever reason, this one is getting me. I think what we're going to have to do here is just delay our splash, take this head off and take it to the machine shop and have them do it. Because this is my third drill bit yeah. that I've done this to. All right, well, Jordan got the head off the main mast, so we're heading over to a machine shop that we found in Chonkinola. It's kind of a little bit off the beaten path. Bueno, hoy uh, necesitamos engranda, engradar. Agrandar. Agrandar, sí. sí. Este a uh, media pulgada. Bien. ¿Está listo? Sí, perfecto. Muchas sí. gracias. ¿Y cuánto le debo? Sí, muchas gracias. Okay, bendiciones, hasta luego. Gracias, adiós. All right, so we're ready to reinstall the main masthead. Something we did yesterday is when we popped this main head off, there was a small amount of corrosion on the aluminum because of the dissimilar metal, the stainless steel head and the aluminum mast. And so I went ahead and cleaned it up real good and uh, coated it with some of that zinc chromate primer. So hopefully that should buy this mask just a little bit more time uh, before it has to be completely replaced. So that's it with the installation of the main head and the upper tang. I actually think that is all of our boatyard projects done. Woo! Oh yeah. Just about done getting all of the turnbuckle threads nice and clean. And I'm gonna coat them all with Lana coat, make sure they're easy to turn for the big day tomorrow. Well, the day has finally come to splash Atticus, and I am so excited. It is really nasty down below in the cabin. There's tools and grit everywhere. Um, and everything's totally disorganized. So it's gonna be a long day, but we're both really pumped to just get Atticus back into living mode. I gotta hop on real quick and check the stuffing box and make sure it's tight enough and we don't have water coming in. Mm -hmm.
we are going to uh, start up the engine and just run the prop, make sure that the uh, stuffing box isn't leaking too bad. I had it look bad. Yeah, we'll have to adjust a little bit. It was getting a little hot, but the first little while with the stuffing box, it's like absorbing water and and expanding, so. Let's go home. Uh, no, no, kill the engine. Okay, now, uh, uh, reverse. Reverse, reverse, okay, reverse. Okay, what's going on, bud? The stuffing box, I came down to check it and it was getting a little hot. And so I loosened it while we were motoring. Uh -huh. Like the moment that I loosened the nut that holds like kind of the locking nut, mm -hmm. it spun freely with the shaft mm. and it was just like spinning. Oh, and I was like, God. ah, <laughs> and I like didn't want it to come all the way off, oh, you know? Oh Whew, that was intense. <laughs> Good thing we're in the middle of a bay with nothing around us. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Okay, go ahead and turn the engine on. All right, bud. How are you feeling? I'm just so exhausted. Feel yeah. Like somebody just beat the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't take any more stimulation to make it stop. Yeah. <laughs> I hope there are no more problems. Just get to the dock, <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> and it's weird, I'm looking at the mass like, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mass bases look great. And thanks again to Jim Ulmer for making us these beautiful mass bases. I, there are no words to express our gratitude. You're awesome. Killing engine, reverse. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's still hot. Yeah, so that's the second time I've loosened it. I think it just keeps getting hot and swelling and then sealing even harder, you know? Mm -hmm. It's probably not the best thing to like, after replacing the stuffing to just go on a two hour boat ride. <laughs> but, oh well. The concern is that it'll overheat and like wear uh, like a groove into the shaft mm. if it gets hot enough. I don't want to loosen it too much. Uh -huh. Third time's a charm. Okay, so we just got to make sure we check this like once a day, you know, because uh -huh. it's it, it needs to be adjusted quite a bit, I think. And um, we just don't want the boat to sink. So let's keep an eye on it. Sounds good. Bud. We made it. Now we've got 30 feet of stuff to figure out where to put. Yeah, it Starting is. From the anchor locker all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it? Is it cleanup time? Cleanup time and then the longest nap of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. we've got the masts up. We're back in civilization. We didn't murder each other. So I think no. we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy, you know, like Atticus is just really this patchwork of 
barely functioning systems, I think, you know? Well, now they're we're functioning. We're just kind of barely keeping this girl together. <laughs> and I think this yard period kind of taught me more than ever that what we're doing is we're buying ourselves time, you know? We're buying ourselves time to get out there and do some cruising and uh, try and have fun and explore and adventure before she starts to break down again. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we've got more work ahead of us. Um, we're not quite ready to go cruising yet, but we made some tremendous progress over the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks for watching the episode. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss next week where we... Sink. We sink? Oh my God. The stuffing box is leaking and we sink the boat. Whoa, that sounds crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wanna miss that. Okay, we'll catch you guys next Thursday. <sighs> All right. Oh. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I wanted to thank our newest first mate level patron. So thank you so much, Chad Towner, you're amazing. We also wanted to thank our newest bosun level patrons, Shelly and Jeff. So thanks a lot for your support. We also wanted to thank our newest yacht master level patrons. So we've got John Folk, Eric Hoppala, Jamie Shaw, as well as Kevin Wyatt and Richard Hagen. And finally, we wanted to thank our newest deckhand level patrons. So we've got Tommy Morin, Nigel Tisdale and Randy Rankin. Roy Foxel, Tony Reinold, Oliver Eifergan. We've also got Ken Ward and Alana Jackson, Bob Hughes and Lori Hatton, Scott Sanford, and last but not least, Harvey Day. So thank you guys so much for your support. Without you guys, we would not be able to put the kind of love, energy, and time into these episodes that we do. And other than that, we will catch you guys next Thursday.